most of you watching this video probably own either a set of Corsa Competition or Gran Turismo Sport. If this isn't the case, then you're most likely on the edge of buying one of these games, but are not sure yet which one. But that's okay, because today we are going over the most important aspects of those games and compare the results. These aspects are the following. The overall graphics of the game, the sound of the cars, the physics slash the handling of the game, the multiplayer and finally the available content. So before we start, I'm going to show you at which point in the video a certain factor will be covered. First of all, we are going to admire the graphics present in both games. When GT Sport released in October of 2017, it undoubtedly was among the most beautiful sim racing games out there, if not even the most beautiful of them. Its level of detail featured in the interior and also the exterior of all cars was and still is amazing. Especially considering that it has to run on an inferior platform, which happens to be the PlayStation 4. I am not trying to say though that the PS4 is bad, but a console will never be as powerful as a gaming PC. Also, the way GT Spot presents its tracks is very pleasing. The graphic style is bright and colorful, even more so if you happen to own an HDR compatible monitor since it has full HDR support. But since this video is not only about how good GT Spot really is, let's switch to a set of course or competition. In the beginning, its graphics were decent but came at a high price, namely low frame rates. However, over the time, things got better and now it's perfectly playable with at least constant 60 frames per second on an average gaming PC. What really raises things on a whole other level though is the Unreal Engine. If you are at least a little bit interested in game design, or rather in the Unreal Engine in general, then it should be known that it is able to produce so-called photorealistic images. For those of you who don't know what this means, photorealistic images are basically images or rather a sequence of images which are, in our case, rendered by a graphics engine and are almost indistinguishable from the real life counterparts. And I think this fact alone says more than enough about the graphical excellence of this game. However, Kunos also did a great job at including several details in the interior and exterior of the cars, especially regarding the gauges and displays in the cars. In the end, GT Sport is very pleasing to look at as well as ACC, but with the power of the Unreal Engine, Assetto Corsa Competition has the edge over GT Sport. Moving on now to the sound comparison. We are going to decide which game has the better sounding cars based on an observation in the cockpit cam and also the TV camera. Let's start with GT Sport again and then dive right into ACC. As you can hear, GT Sport has this very generic shifting sound, which is a classic in the Gran Turismo series. Apart from that, it sounds very nice and realistic. However, ACC once again manages to top these results. Every single upshift or rather downshift is just so detailed and the cars in general sound the most realistic of all simulations right now. So this one is clearly going in the favor of ACC again. Next on. We have the overall physics slash the handling. This is probably the category where GT Sport is the most different from a set of Corsa competition. While ACC rewards the slow in, fast out concept, you can gain a little more time in GT Sport when you are driving more aggressively. It is often faster 
to really throw your car into a corner, go on the power early and more or less make a controlled slide through a corner. In ACC on the other hand, you have to be rather careful when entering a corner, because otherwise you are going to not only lose time at the corner entry, but also at the exit. In short, GT Sport kind of rewards overdriving while ACC punishes it. In real racing, a general rule of thumb is, the less overdriving, the better. Apart from this issue, both games have great physics, especially in the rain. But GT Sport currently has only one available track where rain is featured, because it lacks a dynamic weather feature. ACC on the other hand features a top notch dynamic weather and also a dynamic track system. The temperature of the environment directly influences the grip level of the track and the more and longer cars drive on a track, the better the grip levels get. There is also an implemented time simulation which GT Sport also lacks. So in terms of basic handling, both games are great and a joy to drive. However, all these additional features of ACC make it feel more realistic and can make for some great racing scenarios where it suddenly begins to rain and you need to change your tires from slicks to wets at just the right moment. So I have to award yet another point to ACC. One of the aspects that can either really improve a game or make it not fully enjoyable is the integrated multiplayer. While Gran Turismo Sport comes with a proper matchmaking system where you have three different races that change weekly and take place with fixed setups, ACC also advertises such but is not in the slightest on the same page as GT Sport. Let me elaborate further. GT Sport has a ranking system where you get a safety rating, which is determined by how often you make impactful contact with your opponents or lose control of your car, and also a driver rating, which is basically a simple rating system where you gain or lose points based on the position you finish a race and also which rank your opponents had. This is probably the best solution for a working multiplayer, thus the glorified iRacing uses the same system but with more variety regarding the races. Assetto Corsa Competition on the other side has more separate ratings. Car control, safety rating, racecraft, pace, consistency and a few more. But it doesn't use them to their fullest potential. Additionally, the matchmaking is also not the greatest since it is essentially just a server browser, which was the default option for multiplayer games in the 2000s, where you can press a button in the menu and the game automatically joins you on a fitting server. Of course there are some filters, but they are rather useless, not completely, but almost. There are also the so-called competition servers, which promise clean and competitive racing, but since the races there are about an hour long and the limitation regarding safety rating is quite high, not many people are even able to possibly join them. So in this case, GT Sport literally wipes the floor with ACC's matchmaking system from 1998 and therefore gets its first point. The last category refers to the content available in both games. When GT Sport was released, it had a decent amount of tracks and a huge amount of cars in it. However, Polyphony is one of the most caring developer studios out there in terms of free content updates. Every few months, GT Sport receives either a new track or a few new cars, which is quite amazing. According to the Gran Turismo wiki, there are currently 58 tracks and 309 cars in the game. There is also an included driving school, where I learn the basic concepts of cornering, braking and more racing techniques. In the meanwhile, ACC has a mere 18 cars and 10 tracks. This has to be expected though, since it focuses on a single racing series and therefore has limited licenses for only a few cars and tracks. Recently, a DLC has been announced, which will add another 4 tracks to the game, but in this case you have to pay for it. Regarding the single player, there is only a championship where endure a whole season against AI opponents, which is decently done. Without much arguing, I think we can say that GT Sport currently has more content than ACC and with all its free content updates is the better choice if this is your main concern. So 
to sum it all up, Assetto Corsa Competition is the more realistic game. It has better physics, laser scan tracks and generally rewards proper racing techniques. While GT Sport also handles decent, but tolerates and sometimes even encourages overdriving, which is rather bad. Both games sound and look amazing, but thanks to the Unreal Engine, ACC has the upper hand in these categories. It currently is also the game which sounds the most realistic when compared to all simulators out there. GT Sport has its strengths in the multiplayer, which is currently one of the best. And also, its wide variety of tracks and cars is great. There are also free content updates, which is always a good thing. So if you want one of the most realistic simulator games out there and don't really care much about the multiplayer, ACC is your game. If you have little time on the other side and just quickly want to hop in in some multiplayer races with great variety, then you should go with GT Sport. If you enjoyed this comparison and could take something with you, you could consider subscribing to this channel. And if you want more comparisons or have some feedback, suggestions or whatever, simply leave a comment below. And with that said, I will catch you in the next one.